हेलो गाइस वेलकम एंड वेलकम बैक टू माय चैनल जेबीआर ऑनलाइन क्लासेस लाइक शेयर एंड सब्सक्राइब माय चैनल सो हेलो एवरीवन दिस इज द सेकंड पार्ट फ्रॉम द एक्सरसाइज 11.7 ओके एंड इन दिस वीडियो आई एम गोइंग टू स्टार्ट फ्रॉम सम नंबर 8 सो हियर इन सम नंबर 8 व्हाट इज द एक्यूट एंगल डिफरेंट बिटवीन हियर द फर्स्ट स्ट्रेट लाइन दैट इज x plus y 0 and second one here y equal to 0 okay so as you know that suppose here you have a straight line that is ax plus by plus c equal to 0 and here the formula to find out the slope that one equal to minus coefficient of what coefficient of x divided by coefficient of y okay that is the formula so here as you have x plus y equal to 0 so in that case m1 equal to that means the slope of this one is minus 1 by 1 and that one is minus 1 and here the coefficient of this one m2 equal to as here coefficient of x is 0 so minus 0 by 1 and that one equal to 0 okay now you have to find out what you have to find out the acute angle between these two lines so here you know that tan theta equal to here within mod m1 minus m2 and then 1 by m1 m2 okay so that is the formula so now put down the value of m1 and m2 so here m1 equal to minus 1 and that one equal to 0 then 1 plus 1 into 0 that is minus 1 equal to 0 so it will be minus 1 as you multiply with 0 so you can write down this one as 1 minus 1 into 0 okay so the upper one will be minus 1 lower one will be also minus 1 within mod so your answer will be 1 in that case so as here tan theta equal to 1 so you can write down this one as tan 45 degree as acute angle so that means here theta equal to 45 degree your final answer now let's move on to next problem sum number 9 so here in sum number 9 reduce the following lines in slope intercept form so first tell me what is the slope intercept form as here you know that the slope intercept form means y equal to mx plus c okay so here that one equal to y equal to mx plus c is the slope intercept form so now here you can write down the first one 91 that is 3x minus 4y plus 10 that one equal to 0 we have to convert this equation in y equal to mx plus c so as here minus 4y equal to minus 3x minus 10 then if you divide it with minus 4 so it will be here minus 3 by minus 4x and here minus 10 or you can write down here uh, minus so here also a minus 4 so that one will be here 3 by 4x plus 10 by 4 okay 3 by 4x plus 10 by 4 so that means your final answer will be here if you cancel out this one so y equal to 3 by 4x plus 5 by 2 as your final answer now next one sum number 9 2 sum number 9 2 is as same as sum number uh, 9 1 so here sum number sum number 9 3 that is here x plus 7y that one equal to 0 so definitely here 7y equal to minus x that means in the place of c you can write down here 0 okay so y equal to here minus 1 by 7x plus 0 that is your final answer okay so here you can write down for the previous one m equal to 3 by 4 and c equal to 5 by 2 and for this one here m equal to minus 1 by 7 okay and here c equal to 0 now next some number c4 so here in some number c4 that one equal to y plus 3 equal to 0 that means y equal to here minus 3 so you can write down this one as y equal to minus 0 sorry or you can write y equal to 0 only not the minus so y equal to 0 into x minus 3 that means here m equal to 0 and here c equal to minus 
as your final answer. Now, sum number 10. In sum number 10, reduce the following equation in intercept form and find their intercept on the axis. Intercept form means x by a plus y by b that one equal to 1 and you have to find out the value of a and b as the intercept on the axis. So here the first one that is 3x minus 4y plus 10 that one equal to 0. So you can write down this one as 3x minus 4y that one equal to minus 10. Now divide it by minus 10 so it will be here 3x by minus 10 this one will be plus so 4y by 10 because minus minus is plus and this one equal to here 1 okay so now you can write down x by minus 10 by 3 here plus y by 10 by 4 that one equal to 1 okay so that is the intercept form you can also change it by uh, this one as 5 by 2 so here a equal to minus 10 by 3 and b equal to here 10 by 4 or you can also write down 5 by 2 as your choice so now next one sum number 10 to so here in sum number 10 to the given equation is 2y plus 3 that one equal to 0 so as here 2y plus 3 that one equal to 0 so you can write down this one as 2y equal to minus 3 okay and also you can write down 0 into x plus 2y that one equal to minus 3 now divide it by minus 3 so that one equal to x by minus 3 sorry 0 into x by minus 3 plus 2y by minus 3 that one equal to 1 so here your final answer that is x by 0 uh, so no need to write down this one as uh, so here the last one is 2 sorry not 2y so it's here y by minus 3 by 2 that one equal to here 1 so that means here a equal to 0 and b equal to minus 3 by 2 okay that means no a x intercept okay no x intercept and y intercept equal to minus 3 by 2 now next one sum number 11 okay so here in sum number 11 that one is a line passing through the point so first one is alpha and 2 alpha and second one here that is uh, minus 2 and 3 a line passing through the point this one and this one is perpendicular to the line here 4x plus 3y minus 7 that one equal to 0 find the value of alpha so as you know if two lines are perpendicular that means the multiplication of the slope that one equal to minus 1 so first you have to find out the slope of these two points so here m1 equal to you know y2 minus y1 divided by x2 minus x1 that is the slope of these two points and here you can also find out the slope of this straight line so as here m2 so here the slope is minus coefficient of x that is 4 and then divided by what coefficient of y and that is 3 so now you can write down as two lines are perpendicular so m1 into m2 that one equal to minus 1 so here 3 minus 2 alpha minus 2 minus alpha and here minus 4 by 3 that one equal to minus 1 so minus minus cancel out you can write down this one as 3 uh, minus 2 alpha here minus 2 minus alpha that one equal to 3 by 4 now cross multiply so it's 12 minus 8 alpha minus 6 minus 3 alpha okay so that one equal to here minus 5 alpha and that one equal to here minus 18 so here alpha equal to 18 by 5 as your final answer now next one some number 11 to part 2 if the lines here 3x plus y that one equal to 4 next one x minus a y plus 7 equal to 0 and the last one here b plus sorry b x plus 2 y plus 5 equal to 0 form three consecutive sides of our rectangle okay so three consecutive side means suppose this one is 1 this one is 2 and this one is 3 so this is the first straight line the second one and the third one so three consecutive sides okay of our rectangle find the values of a and b you have to find out the value of a and b so as here equation 1 and equation 2 
clearly in the diagram here these two lines are perpendicular to each other also here 2 and 3 are also perpendicular to each other or you can also write down here equation 1 and equation 3 are parallel to each other okay so as 1 and 2 1 and 2 are perpendicular to each other so first here m1 the slope of the first equation that is minus 3 by 1 here the slope of second equation that equal to here minus 1 by here minus a and here m3 equal to here minus b by 2 now as m1 into m2 that one equal to minus 1 because perpendicular to each other so minus 3 here 1 by a that one equal to minus 1 so minus minus cancel out here a equal to 3 okay so that is the first answer a equal to 3 now next thing here as 1 and 3 equation 1 and 3 are parallel to each other that means here m1 equal to m2 so you can write down this one as minus 3 equal to minus sorry not m2 it's m3 so here minus b by 2 that means here b equal to 6 as your final answer now some number 12 prove that the lines here 3x minus 4y plus 5 that one equal to 0 x plus 2 y that one equal to 3 3 my sorry 3 x minus 5 y plus 15 that one equal to 0 and x plus 2 y plus 9 equal to 9 so here you can write down x plus 2 y minus 3 that one equal to 0 and here x plus 2 y minus 9 that one equal to 0 so first you have to find out the slope of each and every line so that one equal to minus 3 by minus 4 here m2 equal to minus 1 by 2 then here m3 equal to here minus 3 by minus 4 okay minus 3 by minus 4 and here m4 equal to here minus 1 by 2 okay so that means this one equal to 3 by 4 and this one equal to also 3 by 4 now you know that suppose this one is a parallelogram then definitely one equation one this is equation two this one is three and this one is four so if this one is a parallelogram then one and three one and three are parallel to each other and four and two are also parallel to each other so that means here m1 definitely equal to m3 and m2 it's definitely equal to m4 because the two parallel lines the slope of two parallel lines are always equal so as here m1 equal to m3 that means first equation and the third equation are parallel to each other and here m2 is equal to m4 that means second one and the fourth one are parallel to each other so definitely it's a parallelogram and you can also say here that m1 into m2 that one not equal to minus 1 so definitely here equation 1 and equation 2 are not perpendicular to each other that means it's not a rectangle so confirmly it's a parallelogram so now here some number 13 in 13 1 find the equation of a line parallel to the line x minus 3y plus 5 equal to 0 with y intercept equal to 5 so as here x minus 3y plus 5 equal to 0 so first you can find out the slope so here m1 equal to minus 1 by minus 3 and that one equal to 1 by 3 okay now here y intercept that equal to 5 so you can write down y equal to mx plus c so as these two lines are parallel then definitely here the value of m will be also 1 by 3 and here x sorry c equal to 5 that means here 3y that one equal to 3y equal to here x that one equal to 15 so x minus 3y plus 15 that one equal to 0 so that is your final answer now next one some number 13 2 here find the equation of the line perpendicular to the line 2x plus 5y plus 7 equal to 0 y intercept minus 3 that means again y equal to here uh, suppose this one is m1 so this one equal to m2 so m2x uh, here minus 3 so as here m1 equal to minus 2 by 5 so definitely m2 equal to minus 1 by m1 because perpendicular to each other so that means here minus 1 by minus 2 into 5 so minus minus cancel out it's 5 by 2 so y equal to here 5 by 2 x minus 3 
so that one equal to 2y 2y equal to 5x minus 6 so you can write down this one as 5x minus 2y minus 6 that one equal to 0 as your final answer now let's move on to the next problem and that is sum number 14 prove that the line passing through the point x1 y1 okay passing through the point and parallel to the line that is ax plus by plus c that one equal to 0 is so here you have to prove that this one a into x minus x1 plus here b into y minus y1 that one equal to 0 so as you know the point slope form as here the line passing through the point x1 y1 so definitely you can write down y minus y1 that one m into x minus x1 so here m is the slope okay and these two lines are parallel to each other then definitely the slope of these two will be equal so first you have to find out the slope of this one suppose this one as m1 so minus a by b so definitely m1 is equal to with m because these two straight lines are parallel to each other okay so here you can write down y minus y1 and here minus a by b then x minus x1 so here multiply with b y minus y1 and that one equal to minus a into x minus x1 so here finally a into x minus x1 plus b into y minus y1 that one equal to 0 and it's proved so write down here proved now sum number 15 find the equation of the straight line perpendicular to the line 2x equal to 3y plus 5 okay and with x intercept minus 4 so as here x intercept minus 4 so here uh, the new formula that is for the x intercept you can write down y equal to m into x minus d okay and here d means x intercept so that means you can write down here m into x plus 4 here m means the slope so as here 2x equal to 3y plus 5 so you can write down 2x minus 3y minus 5 equal to 0 so that means from that one here m1 be the slope of this straight line so it will be here minus 2 by minus 3 that means 2 by 3 now as these two lines are perpendicular to each other that means here m1 into m that one equal to minus 1 so definitely here m equal to minus 1 by 2 by 3 so that means minus 3 by 3 3 by 2 so here your equation y equal to here minus 3 by 2 and here x plus 4 so that means here 2y minus 3x minus 12 so your final answer will be here as 3x plus 2y plus 12 that one equal to 0 now let's move on to the next problem sum number 16 this is the last sum for this video so guys if you like my video please please share this video and please subscribe my channel and in my channel this is the only one channel in youtube where you will get the ML Agarwal 2021 edition okay so please please support me so here a line passes through the point 2 2 okay a line passes through the point 2 2 and it's perpendicular to the line that is 3x plus y that one equal to 3 find its y intercept so here first you have to write down this one as 3x plus y minus 3 equal to 0 that means here m1 equal to the slope of this line it's minus 3 by 1 okay the slope on this one equal to minus 3 by 1 so you can write down this one as minus 3 now as the line passes through the point 2 2 so the line will be here y minus y1 that one equal to m into x minus x1 and here y minus y1 here y1 equal to 2 so you can write down this one as y minus 2 and here m m means as these two lines are perpendicular to each other that means m into m1 equal to minus 1 and as here m1 equal to minus 3 so m equal to minus 1 by minus 3 that means 1 by 3 so put down the value here and here x minus 2 so that imply you can write down 3y minus 6 here x minus 2 clear 
so x minus 3y and here plus 4 that one equal to 0 so x minus 3y plus 4 that one equal to 0 now you have to find out what you have to find out y intercept so do one thing first you write down here x minus 3y that one equal to minus 4 then here write down x by minus 4 here minus 3y by minus 4 that one equal to sorry that one equal to 1 not 0 okay so that means here x by minus 4 here plus y by 4 by 3 that one equal to 1 so definitely here y intercept equal to 4 by 3 okay y intercept equal to 4 by 3